Well, Ben Stokes replaces Sam Curran for the third test. Uh, at the beginning of the week on Monday, he wasn't in the squad. Then by Tuesday evening, he was in the squad, but wasn't necessarily going to be picked to play until 24 hours before the game. We're now 24 hours before the game. He's now playing. Sam Curran's been dropped. I do not agree with Sam Curran being dropped. I think that is a wrong decision. He's been in form since he got into the test side. He's played very well. He's, I think, played in three consecutive winning tests. He's been crucial in all three test matches with the bat. Um, he's getting a half century in the first test against India, getting a good good wicket haul at Edgbaston in the first test as well. Not so effective in the second test at Lords, but I don't think the condition suited him, but he still chipped in with, with good numbers, restricting the Indian runway, and he got a few wickets here and there, and he got a few runs as well. Um, he's a young all-rounder. He's learning his trade. The best way to learn your trade is to play around more experienced players. Chris Wokes played well as well, so you, you had a very different conundrum. Do you drop Rashid? Do you drop Pope? Do you, do you, do you, do you, what? It's a difficult one, and that's where I'm going to leave it. There are those fans that for Ben Stokes and those are against. The problem that you're going to find now is India are going to target Ben Stokes now because they know the spotlight and the pressure is on him. They are going to have a targeted plan when they bowl to him, when he is bowling, how they go after him. Do they just block everything and frustrate him, or do they go, you know, try and hit him for six and frustrate him that way? And at the same time, when he's fielding, they, they may. You know, target his fielding as well, even though he's a very good fielder. But the pressure and spotlight's going to be on him, so they're going to target him. They're going to single him out for a special sledging. Oh yeah, he'll get sledged. He is going to get verbally wound up. And in the past, he's overstepped that mark where he's bitten back and he's said something that he shouldn't have, and he's been suspended because of it. They're going to keep pushing his buttons because they now know he has a weakness. And they're going to try and exploit it because they need to win this test match to, to salvage the series or get, have a chance of salvaging the series. They need to win this match. I do feel sorry for Sam Curran. I, I think it is a slightly unfair that he misses out because he's not, he's played brilliantly for a young player. He's got errors in his game. There's errors in his game he obviously needs to improve and he will improve his pace, uh, his, his bowling accuracy a little bit. Maybe some, some of his way gets out sometimes with the bat. He needs to possibly work on some of his back and te back technique, but he's a very explosive, quick scoring player. But I don't think it's fair that he should be dropped because he's done nothing wrong, he's played very well, he's been part of a team effort, and he's in form. Uh, same with Wokes, he, he, he didn't play the first test, but he steps into the second test, gets a century, and, and gets the winning wickets. Um, but then if you drop Rashid suddenly, that's another hot iron. So England haven't necessarily dealt with the Ben Stokes and who replaces him and the lineup issues really that well. Um, there were questions whether he should have played in, in this test series and the test series against Pakistan at all. There were questions whether he should play while he was under investigation and pending court case. Um, and I was one of those questioning. I say, well, personally for me, I think he should defend himself in court first, and then after that is sorted out, then we can see what the future holds. Now we know he's not guilty. The ECB, though, have stated there will be an internal investigation into the behaviour of Alex Hales and Ben Stokes that night and other behaviours and issues around the squad, such as drinking and curfews. So that's going to be interesting what comes out of that. But the ECB themselves, I have little faith in the ECB personally on a variety of issues. But when it comes to discipline, there's got to be something positive that comes out of it, be it a code of conduct or something along those lines where you have... Some downtime, but there is definitely a strict curfew that's saying you can go out drinking till 11, maybe, be in before midnight. It sounds silly, but actually, when, you, when you're when you a pro sportsman now with, with social media, you don't want to be a wally. Because many players, you just look at the French rugby union team, the Six Nations, nine players were dropped because of a breach of curfew incident and, a, and police were involved in an alleged assault. So, you know, professional sportsmen do, do screw up. And it is embarrassing when it comes to the fact that they're well paid, they're high profile individuals. And to be honest, when it's on social media, that's a big problem. That's a PR nightmare because that evolves so quickly. And if it, it doesn't help, especially with video cameras now and video camera phones, it's just a situation you in a PR department of a national side or a club side do not want players caught misbehaving. It doesn't look good, especially when you're paying them hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pounds a year. Um, but yeah, Ben Stokes is back in. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Indians do target him. I wouldn't be surprised if the Indians put him to bat first and try and get after Ben Stokes early on and really give him give him some hardcore sledging. Uh, and sledging is another thing that is, is, is a grey area, what's acceptable, what's not. Um, but they're going to get after him. Virat Kohli versus Ben Stokes is going to be an interesting verbal battle. 
and possibly get physical. And both players have overstepped that mark before with verbals and physicals on the field. Uh, ben Stokes has fallen a foul of that. Birak Kohli has fallen a foul of that. That is going to be an interesting matchup. Birak Kohli is, is an expert at winding up opposition players. Um, look for him possibly in the field close to the bat. Really try and roll up Stokes when, let's say, Ashwin's bowling him, spin bowling. Um, but that's that's for the test match. Um, I feel sorry for Sam Curran. I think it's it's not right that he misses out. I think he's played very well um, and has shown lots of positives. But then, you know, I personally would have stuck with the same eleven that won the second test and have Stokes as 12th or 13th man as a squad player around the squad. So he's still training and then look forward to the fourth test, possibly, depending on the ECB investigation. That's my personal view. Um, I'm not saying he should never play for England ever again. I think that he does need to learn a lesson here because it, this seems to me rewarding bad behaviour. Even though he's been found not guilty, it still seems the rewarding bad behaviour with giving him his spot straight away back when two other players have really stepped up and woke some current and really put a shift in for the side and carried the side over the line in two test matches where they've been the two best players by a mile. I don't think that's a fair reflection of how they played by dropping one of them. But there we go. It's not a perfect world. The way the, the England dressing room and the coaching staff have handled the press I don't think they could have handled it possibly better as well we can argue that but there we go Ben Stokes is now back in the side after Monday not being in the side Tuesday provisionally being in the side and now by Friday he is in the side I feel that whatever player was dropped was possibly more fairly dropped um, because that was a team effort to win that second test so convincingly by an innings and 100 odd runs but here's what it is anyway, thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe place your comments below and I'll have some more videos for you soon